A very important maintenance step that you're going to want to do every day is make sure Trade Navigator is up to date. Um, so we're going to take a look at that and starting with the update if you're already in Trade Navigator. So we'll take a look at what would happen if we're starting up Trade Navigator and we need to do an update. We'll take a look at that as well. But to update the software, the first step should be by clicking on the blue phone icon. Um, now when we open up the update data window, we have a lot of choices to choose from um, when it comes to what updates we can do, but we're going to focus right now on doing an end of day update and we'll come back and take a look at the other three types of updates. The first uh, is the end of day updating and basically you have the from field and the to field. This is base, uh, where you're going to start or base your update on. Uh, Trade Navigator will automatically select the from field. This will be based off of the last time that Trade Navigator was able to do an update. When was the last time that Trade Navigator was on or that it could actually download the data? The to field will be the field that shows where we're trying to get to. Uh, in this case, today's date um, would show up there. You can actually change that date manually if necessary. If you needed to go back to a date that you've missed or if you're creating a range from this particular date to another date. You can change those dates by clicking in the arrows here. Um, by changing the arrow dates, we can go backwards or forwards to the most recent or later dates. Or you can choose the calendar button to select those dates. But once you have the date field completed, and if you're just going to go with automatic, then you won't have to make any changes there. You're simply going to click on the start button. Now what we've got here now is Trade Navigator is doing an update, an end of day update, and it's going to cycle through all of the dates that it may be missing. Um, and depending on how far back that data goes, it will download each date, fill in the days that are missing, um, and when it's completed, we'll let you know what dates have been installed. So you'll want to make sure that if you're doing a large update, expect that to take some time. If you're doing a small date, then it should take less than seconds for it to complete. Now, typically after an update has been done, depending on the type of update you're doing, because again, we're going to address different types. But if we're doing a data update, after the update has completed, several things can happen to inform you that there might have been some changes in the market. For example, here we have the continuous contract roles. Basically, this is letting us know about all of the contracts that have rolled recently. So when the end of day update has completed, you'll get the uh, details about that end of day update in the little window that we have displayed here. Um, this will tell you about all the files that have successfully downloaded. It'll finish by saying final updating, reloading symbols, and then reloading data. But at some point it will complete by saying finished. You'll notice, however, inside of the window, we have one error message where it says files do not exist for this date. Those files are not available until the end of that day. So for today's date, the files will be ready at the end of that day. So until we get that new information, that file does not exist. 